Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with my Moto G8 Plus. Okay, so roughly about a week ago, I did the update to the official Android 10. And I have noticed that with the Android 10, you now get the game driver options hidden within the developer options. Okay, so I've done a bit of testing on it. And in my own understanding, I would say for 2D gaming and battery saving, the game driver option is the best option. And for 3D and hardcore gaming, system graphic driver is the best. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about and I'm going to run a little test for you all to see. Okay, so if you go into the about phone and keep tapping the build number, it will say you are now a developer and it will then unlock the developer options here in the system settings. So developer options. Okay, so if you scroll down, you will see the game driver preferences. So modify game driver settings, if you select it and turn it on, let me just show you something real quick. So when game driver is turned on, you can choose to use the updated graphics driver for apps installed on the device. So when you turn it on, you can choose which games you want to um, play and you can also adjust and select which driver you want to use. So by default, it's on the default settings, but I'm going to just choose the game driver. No, in fact, wait a minute. Let me just keep it on the default settings and start up Fortnite. So I'll run the test on the default settings and then um, I will choose the game driver settings. See if there's an improvement in the performance. Okay, so you can see it's stuttering real bad there when it's on the default settings.
Morga, he goes in there. The anime play. He's about to put down, put on the mic. You can hear me. Okay, so I'm gonna come out of there. Yeah. Oh, boy. And then um, go back into developer options. Game driver preferences. And now I'm going to choose the game driver option and then start up Fortnite again and see if there's an improvement in the performance. Okay, so I'll be back when the game starts up. Okay, back again. Okay, so remember guys, this is with game driver selected. So let's see if the performance is a little bit better now, if it's a bit smoother or if it's still going to stutter a lot like when it was on the default settings. Okay, so it did stutter to begin with, but you can see it's a lot smoother now, definitely. Okay, so now let's try with... The other setting. I think it's the system graphics driver, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, so we're going to apply the system graphics driver this time okay so I'll be back when the game starts up okay back again so yeah we're gonna try now with the system graphics driver okay what's going on that wasn't supposed to happen let's try again Okay, I'll be back once um, I find a match. Oh, in fact, it's trying to connect. Hold on, it's matchmaking. Okay, so let's see if there's an improvement with the system graphics driver applied. Let's see if we get that stutter at the beginning. 
like what we just had with oh come on don't know what happened there guys Okay, I'll be back again once I get to the matchmaking. Okay, guys, had a little bit of technical difficulty with the Wi-Fi. Um, since upgrading to Android 10, I've noticed my Wi-Fi just keeps chipping out. If you guys are having that problem with your Wi-Fi, let me know. Okay, so this is the system driver. And as you can see, you don't get that lag at the start now. Wow. It's definitely a lot smoother now. Definitely, you can see that um, the performance has definitely improved with the system driver applied. So yeah guys, um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, in my own opinion, I would say for 2D, for 2D gaming and battery saving, use the game driver mode. And um, for 3D and hardcore gaming, use the system graphics driver. Um, you're definitely going to get better for performance with the system graphics driver. Also, with this Android 10 update as well, I recommend using this new option, um, Adaptive Performance. Turn this on as well. Make sure you turn that on as well, because this is going to help with the performance when you're gaming. So yeah, this um, helps with the performance, it improves the RAM efficiency and helps apps open faster through on-device AI that uses context and usage patterns to determine when you'll open an app next. So yeah, um, make sure that you have this turned on as well. It's definitely going to help with the performance and the frame rates and all that good stuff. Um, if you don't have a Moto G8 Plus, but you have another Android device that has the game driver options, let me know what graphics you prefer to use whilst you're gaming. Let me know all that good stuff in the comment section down below. Anyway, it's your boy, the Android Doctor. Just thought I'd share this video with you guys. I'm out. Deuces.